Imagine you're at an ATV dealership. They're telling you this ATV is gonna cost 10, 15, 20 grand. There's freight, there's PDI, there's all these charges to buy this new quad. But how do you know you're getting a good deal? Should you be looking at you? Hi, I'm Jeremy from Pink Orange. And today we're doing a video about ATVs and side-by-sides. A lot of people think, Jeremy who? Well, good for you, this video is not about me. It's about ATVs and side-by-sides. And if it's worth buying them used, and is there any money to be saved? So when you're buying a new ATV, obviously like anything we buy, it costs you more than used. That would be the logical thing. So what should you consider if you're looking at the used ATV? And is it actually cheaper? The main thing is you gotta look at the condition of the quad. They age so much quicker than a vehicle, than a car, a car or a truck. So if you're looking at a car that's got 100,000 kilometers, you're thinking, ah, it's starting to get up there in age. But if you're looking at an ATV that's got 5,000 kilometers, you're thinking, oh man, that thing's new. It's not. It goes through the wear and tear about 20 times faster than a regular car. So if you're looking at the used ATV that's got 10,000 kilometers, you should consider that it's the same as a car that's got 200,000 kilometers. So definitely looking at the condition of the ATV is incredibly important. And if you're able to find out anything of the previous life it had, that is super important as well. Because if you were mudding versus trail riding, well, the mudding guy will have less mileage, but the ATV is gonna have gone through hell. So it is really important to take a good look if you're buying them used. And if you're buying them used and you're showing up at some guy's garage, definitely you gotta take his word for it. If you're buying them used from a dealer, at least there's mechanics that look at it and you got a much better chance of ending with a good machine. That being said, they hold their value so well uh, that I've even seen some 10 year old ATVs where the new one's 8,000 and the 10 year old one's 5,000. Definitely spending that extra three grand and buying it new at that point is worth it. So you really got to consider when you're looking at a used ATV or a used side-by-side, -side, the condition, the life it had, the mileage is super important because uh, sometimes you're much better off just buying it new. Like all my shit, I don't buy used because I got burned. So there was one time I bought a sport quad used and it was nice, it was shiny, it made a lot of noise, went rap, rap, rap. But after every single ride, I was fixing the thing. I even had bought a used side-by-side -side, and when I bought it, it already had 13,000 kilometers. I was thinking, that's not too much now, is it? Yeah, I was wrong. It was a lot and I ended up having to redo the engine on it and I was working on it more than I was driving it. So what seemed like a good deal, I ended up just putting all the money right back into it. After being burnt a few times, I started buying new toys and yeah, then I'm not spending my free time working on them, I spent my free time riding them. So the other thing you really need to consider is what you're gonna be doing with the ATV. I'm a leisure rider. I like to take the ATV and go have fun. I do some hunting, uh, but it's kind of a side thing in terms of the machine is considered. But if you're just working around a farm or you're just looking to explore your lot a little bit, then maybe not having a brand new machine that's the top notch, uh, it matters much to you, right? So then use can kind of make a little bit of sense and you're gonna be putting too much wear and tear on it. I'm insanely rough on my stuff. So if there's a weak point, I'm gonna break it. So if I start with new, well then the warranty pays for it. So if you want my opinion, if you should buy new or used, an ATV or a side-by-side, -side, there are the odd used deals that are worth it, but definitely I'm a new buyer.